בעזרת השם יתברך, we are דף טל, ל"ט עמוד א'. אוקיי, so we were saying yesterday about how uh, we, in or, what's the proper way to make mecha'a, what's the proper way to protest, we said that he has to be in front of witnesses and he has to tell them, ah, oh, this guy's a gazlan, why is he a gazlan, because he stole my property and I'm going to be suing him soon. This is the proper form of protest that a person needs to do for, uh, in order to protest the chazaka. Now, says the Gemara, Amal, if the person said, the person that's protesting, he said, Lo tem hule, mai. He tells him, he tells the two, the two people, don't tell him that I did the mecha'ah. What's the halacha? Amal Rav Zavid, haka amal lo tem hule. He said, Rav Zavid said, well, he said not to say, so of course, so it's not going to be a proper mecha'ah. Rav Papa Amal, lididi, lididi lo tem hule. Leachine, em hule. So when he said that, don't tell them, okay, you personally don't go tell them. However, you're going to tell your friend, uh, sorry, we're going to get to that in a second. Emule, chavra chavra itle, chavra de chavra chavra itle. Okay, so he says, Rav Papa says, okay, yes, you're right. Maybe you're not going to tell him directly, but what's going to happen is, you have a friend, your friend has a friend, your friend has a friend, and eventually the word is going to spread, obviously, right? So in this case, the case that what? We're going to soon see there's four cases. Uh, in this case, where where the the owner tells the tells the people that he's doing the mecha'a in front of them, he tells them, do not tell, do not tell this guy that, that I protested. According to Rav Zavid, it's not, a, it's not considered to be a good protest. And according to Rav Papa, it's considered to be a good protest. Amrule, if now what happens, the witnesses, they tell the owner. Amrule, la amrina le, we will not tell this person, right? We will not tell the person. So to, to make things simpler, let's say the owner is Reuven and the, the squatter, let's call him, the person that's, that's stealing the land is called Shimon, right? So, the witnesses say to Reuven, we are not going to tell Shimon that you did the protest. Okay? Amar Rav Zavid, haka amrule. Right? Lo amrinan le. Just to make it, just to let it be known, just to let it be known that it's, that, that it's not, that, it, that this guy, that he's not okay with this guy happening. Because what did we say? We said Chazaka is three years, right? And then automatically it belongs to him. So for him, he says, it's not worth it for me to make too much trouble about it. But I want to make sure that he's not going to be able to steal the land from me. Yeah. But again, but at the end of the day, at the end of the day of Papa, when he says that it works, he, the reason why he says that it works is because he says eventually it's going to spread. That's Rav Papa. Rav, Rav Zavid right away says it doesn't work. But Rav Papa, when he says that it works, why? Because he says eventually it's going to get to him somehow. Because his friend has a friend, it's going gonna, it's gonna to go around. Okay? So, the second case, what's the second case? That the witnesses tell the owner that we will, we will, um, we will not tell. In this case, also, Rav Zavid says, uh, he said, the, the witnesses said they're not going to say, so it shouldn't work. Rav Papa Amar, Rav Papa says, Lididi lo amri le, amri Leachrini amri lehu. Chavra, chavra itle, Chavra de chavra, chavra itle. Lididi. To him, meaning, the, the witnesses, what are they saying? They, what are they saying to Ruben? We're, we're not going to go tell Shimon. However, says Rav Papa once again, he says, yeah, okay, they're not going to tell Shimon, but what happens? They're going to tell Levi, Levi is going to tell Yuda, Yuda is going to tell Yisachar, and Yisachar, and somehow the word is going to get back to Shimon that he protested. Okay? Amar lehu, la tipuk lehu shuta. Do not speak a word about this, meaning make sure to shut your mouth. Don't don't say anything. Amar Rav Zvid, Okay, so what in this case, what's the halacha? 
he said in Mifurash, even a, even Rav Papa in this case agrees that it's not going to work. Why? Because he's the one that's telling the witnesses, I don't want you to tell this to anyone. Okay. Amrule, fourth case. Amrule, mafkinan, uh, Amrule, they are the, the witnesses are the ones that tell him. Lo mafkinan chuta. Rav Huna Bereid Rav Yushu Amar, kol milta. So he says, anything that a person doesn't necessarily pay attention to, he's going to say it without even paying attention. What does that mean? That means, uh, in this particular case, since, they, they okay, they said, we're not going to say anything. But what's going to happen? We know that people talk, right? People are going to talk, people are going to talk, and eventually it's going to end up getting back to the owner. So we had four cases, right? We are discussing right now, we are discussing right now, how can a person, uh, sorry, what happens if either the person says to the witnesses or the witnesses say to the person that they are not going to, they're not going to talk out or they're not going to speak about the protest. The mecha'a, right? In of the three years. So the first case was the owner tells the witnesses, don't tell anyone. Okay, Rav Zavid says it doesn't work. He said, don't tell. Rav Papa said, yeah, uh, sorry, don't tell Shimon. The owner tells the witnesses, don't tell Shimon. So in that case, Rav Zavid says, ah, he said not to say, so that's it. Shimon's not going to hear about it. And that means it's not a good mecha'a. Not even in a different place. It could be even technically in that place. And he said, don't tell Shimon. Rav Zavid says it doesn't work. Rav Papa says it works. Why does Rav Papa say it works? Because he says, his friend has a friend, his friend has a friend, eventually it's going to get him somehow. Okay, second case. Second case, the witnesses tell Reuven, we are not going to tell Shimon that you did the protest. Again, Rav Zavid said it doesn't work, because they said they're not going to tell him. Rav Papa says it works. Why? Because they're not going to tell him directly, but what's going to happen once again, they're going to tell their friend, their friend is going to tell a friend, their friend is going to tell a friend, and eventually it's going to get to Shimon. Third case, the owner tells... Uh, the What? The, the, that's the that's the second case. The Edim say they're not going to. Third case, the owner tells the Edim, do not speak a word of this to anyone. Third, because the first case, he said, don't tell to Shimon. The third case is don't tell anybody. In this case, everyone agrees. Everyone agrees that it doesn't uh, that it doesn't work. Why? Because he said, don't say anyone. If they, if the witnesses are the ones that are going to say. The fourth case now. We don't. If we're not going to tell anyone. This case, it works according to everyone. It seems right because Rav Zavid doesn't say anything. Why? Because he would say. Sorry, 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 sorry. Uh... Uh, sorry, Rav Papa. Interesting. Rav Papa, he said, I skipped a line when I was reading it. I'm a Rav Papa. Haka amrile lo chuta. Rav Papa says, Ah, they are the ones that say. That they're not going to tell anyone. So that means it shouldn't work. Normally, Rav Papa was always saying, ah, it's going to work, it's going to work. Yeah, now, Rav Papa says no. Sense, but... Now they said, however, Rav Huna, Rav Huna Beredi Rav Yoshua says that it's going to work. Why? Milta derla ramya ale de inish amar velavadat. Meaning, a person, at the end, he's, he's gonna, it's going to slip his mouth. Meaning, ah, he's not going to pay attention and he's going to end up, he's going to end up uh, letting, it, letting it be known. So, I'm a Rav, I'm, I'm a Rav Nafman. What is the last case? The last case is the witnesses tell the owner, we are not going to speak a word of this to anyone. Like Rav, no, so in this case, Rav Papa says it doesn't work. However, Rav Huna Bered de Rav Yeshua, which was a new rabbi in this equation, because we didn't have it till now, he says that it's going to work. Because he said the witnesses say that they're not going to yeah, say anything. He didn't say anything. Uh -huh. We're learning all of these four cases. As long as you have an opening with one party, then our Papa says, okay. If you have if you have consensus of one, which is number three, case number three, that it says nobody, then only then our Papa says, no, okay, I agree that it's not going to be a car. So if one party in case three, four is one party, which is the owner, says, he doesn't say, he doesn't say, only the idea says not to say, I mean, there is an opening. So our Papa calls it. Why is there, so why is there an opening? Okay. You have two parties, a and owner. Okay. As long as they play big, 
long story short, as long as it's playing big for them, one of them says yes and one of them says no, Papa will say, ah, it's an opening. Let me stop you. Let me put in a word over here. The difference between the first two cases and the second two cases yes. is the first two cases he tells them or they tell him, yes. we are not telling the person directly, meaning we are not going to be going to Shimon yes. to tell him. And he says, don't go to Shimon. The third case and the fourth case is where they, the, the, the owner or the witnesses say, we're not telling it to anybody. So what's the difference between the two cases? Yeah, but not both of them agree upon it. It doesn't so matter. It doesn't matter. If once they say we're not going to speak of it to anyone, what was Rav Papa's whole, whole, no, whole... No, 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 no. Uh, yafe. But now that either the owner says not to tell anyone or the witnesses, they say we're not telling anyone. You can't say that your friend has a friend and a friend has no, a friend. The owner, the owner if he's going to go and he's going to tell two other people, it's a new thing. We're talking about right, right here, right now. If the owner, yeah, but the owner, in order for the owner to protest, he needs to do it in front of witnesses, right? If the witnesses tell him, we are not telling our soul, we're not telling anyone, how is the chazaka going to happen? So what does he, so what does he want? Now, if he wants, what can he do? He can go find different witnesses, but then it's a new case. Okay. Right? Rav Nachman, uh, Rav says in the name of Rav Nachman that Mecha'a, not in front of him, is considered to be Mecha'a. Rav asks Rav Nachman a question. Amar Rav Yehuda, Rav Yehuda says, Lo amu shalo shanim, ela kedeh shiye be'aspamia, v'yarzik shana, v'yelchu v'yodiu shana, v'yavo l'shana acheret. We learned in the Mishnah that what did Rav Yudah say? Rav Yudah says, you know why you need three years? Because let's say the guy is living in Spain, right? So the guy is going to have Chazaka for one year. The the guy, whoever wants to tell Reuven, ah, he's going to have to travel for a year. And then Reuven, the owner of the field, he's going to have to travel back for a year. That's why you need three years. So one year for Chazaka, one year to travel to Spain, and one year to travel from Spain back to Atisai. Right? What does that mean? That means you cannot do it in another place. Shiloh Bifanav doesn't work. Right? What, what, if, what, if, what if he is over there? What if yeah, he is in Spain? Part. But it's not at the place of the... It doesn't have to be at the Makom of the, uh, of the property. Again? It's two things. It's either that it needs to be in front of him. That's what we, that, that's the differences that we learned right, right in the beginning of the Gemara. Right in the beginning of the Gemara, we learned: is it, it, it does he have to be does he have to be in the same jurisdiction? Why not? Why yes? And at the end, we said that normally mecha'a shelo bifanav works, right? So why did the Mishnah make this difference? Because the Mishnah was trying to tell us that that between the different jurisdictions, meaning between Yehuda and Galin or between Yehuda and Ever Yarden, or whatever, all those three things, is it's makom sakana. And that's why the word won't spread. Okay? But otherwise, mecha'a shelo bifanav would work. Right? So if he's in the same jurisdiction, if he's in within Yehuda, but Yehuda can be huge, right? And he does it shelo bifanav, so it's going to work. Why is it going to work? It, it's because it's going to spread out and it's not sakana right so now now what is he saying based on this based on this saying from from the Mishnah of Yehuda what does it come out Shiloh Bifanav doesn't work right so why do I need him to travel back for one year sakana that's my uh, okay let's see let's see the gemara it's you see from the you're lucky you're lucky so says the gemara 
ואיסר כדאי תך מחאה שלא בפניו, הווי המחאה, if you're going to tell me that מחאה שלא בפניו is considered to be מחאה, למה לי לבין בני לטב הטעם עד דוכתב ולמחה? Why does he have to, why does he have to come back to ארץ ישראל? Let him just stay in his place and do the מחאה over there. Says the Gemara, Hatam etza tova kama shmanan. You're right. Technically, because mecha'a shelo bifanav is a mecha'a, he's able to stay in Spain and do the mecha'a in Spain. Ah, so why do we need him to come back? Why do we say we need a year to come back? Etza tova kama shmanan. He's teaching us, be smart. Why? The guy lives a, a year away. He's going to sit in on his field. Okay, he's going to do the mecha'a. Very good. But in the meantime, what's happening? Someone's squatting in his field. Someone's stealing his fruit. Someone is thing, right? So he's going to do the mecha'a, and then what? All that money he lost. Okay? Okay? So this way, we said a year to come back. Why a year to come back? Just so that he can stop this guy from stealing whatever is going on in his property. Okay? Not that he actually needs it. Okay, sorry. Okay? Says the Gemara, "Midekamotiv leil Rava le Rav Nachman." From the fact that Rava is asking Rav Nachman, "Micha adros viralei de micha shelo bifanav havi micha." What did Rava? What did Rava just ask? What did Rava just ask on Rav Nachman? He said, "Ah, if you say micha shelo bifanav works, why does he have to come back? Right? Wait a second." What does that mean about Rav, Rava himself? Does Rava hold Mecha'a Shelo B'fanav works or it doesn't work? If he's asking on Rav Nachman, ah, you say Mecha'a Shelo B'fanav. Okay. Rav Nachman says Mecha'a Shelo B'fanav works. Okay, what does Rava tell him? No. What does Rava tell him? Ah, you say it works. Ah, if it, if it works, why does he have to come back? What does that mean about Rava's personal opinion? It that it doesn't work. Nahon? If he's asking of, on Rav Nachman, what does it mean? That he holds differently and that's why he's asking on him. Yeah. So says the Gemara, wait a second. But didn't Rava himself say, Rava said, It's a Mecha'a. So, Based on his question on Rav Nachman, we see that Rava holds that it doesn't work. It has to be Bifanav. But over here in the Gemara, yesterday in the Gemara, we saw that what? That Rava holds that even if it's not in front of him, it works. Says the Gemara, Batar Disham Amir Rav Nachman, Svara. He says, Really, Rav Nachman, in the beginning, he, he, he thought that it doesn't work. Mecha'a shelo bifanav doesn't work. However, once he heard what Rav Nachman said, that it works, then he changed his opinion and he said it works. Okay? Ashkechinu Rabbi Yossi berabbi Hanina letalmidav de Rabbi Yochanan. Rabbi Yossi berabbi Hanina found the students of Rabbi Yochanan. אמר להו, מי אמר רבי יוחנן, מחאה בכמה? Did רבי יוחנן ever say, how many people you need to do the מחאה? Meaning, in front of how many people do you need to do the מחאה? רבי חייה בר אבא אמר, so רבי חייה אמר רבי יוחנן, he said in the name of רבי יוחנן, מחאה בפני שניים. רבי אבא הוא אמר רבי יוחנן, מחאה בפני שלושה. So, מחלוקת in רבי יוחנן himself, do you need two people or three people? Says the Gemara, Lema, let us say, Bidirava bar Abhuna kam Fligi. That the, the fact if you need two or three is a machloket uh, based on Rabba bar Abhuna's opinion, which is what? The Amar Rabba bar Abhuna, Kon milta demit amra beapet lata, let let ba mishnum lishna bishna. Anything that is said in ah, uh, anything that is said in front of three people, there's no pro problem of lashon afterwards. Why? Because he says if you're going to say it in front of three people, 
it's going to become public knowledge. And if it's public knowledge already, it's not Lashon Ara. Okay? Manda Amar Bifnesh Naim. So the opinion that says that you need to let le de Rabba doesn't hold of this thing that if it's if it's in front of three people already, there's no Lashon Ara afterwards. Uman de Amar, ah? Again, what does Rabba Baravuna say? No. No. He says that if you say something in front of three people, it becomes public knowledge, and there's no problem of Lashon Ara afterwards. Does this have to do with our case? No. Has nothing to do with our case. Now, based on what he said, we want to say as follows. The person that says that you only need to say it in front of two, then what? He doesn't agree with Rabba Baravuna. Okay? But the person that's going to say three, he agrees to Rabba Baravuna. Why? Because he says, why do you need three? To spread the word. Okay? Has nothing to do with anything. But the, just the concept, the, the, con the, the concept that what? That if you say it in front of three people, it becomes it's public knowledge. That's it. That if you say something in front of three people, it becomes public knowledge. Like a, it's already it's public. It's already like, like too many people. It's huh? in secret. It's no, 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 no. Again, if it was something that was said in front of three people and you come afterwards and you want to say the same thing, then it's not a problem. Why? Because if it was said already in front of three people, then it's public knowledge. And public knowledge wouldn't be Lashonara. Yeah. Yeah. I already know how, sometimes I know how you think. Yeah. Yeah. Again, we should always avoid speaking things that we shouldn't have to speak, right? Siag la chokma, shtika, lo matzati la guftov, ela shtika, right? What is the going on? Dibura bechad zuza, shtikuta betre zuza. If you have the opportunity to pay one gold coin to speak, pay two gold pay two gold coins to stay quiet. So it's better, always better not to speak. But the question is, does it work? Does it not work? So this is the this is the question. Yeah. Okay. So we said, so we said that that if it's in front of, uh, 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 according to the according to Rabbi Baravuna says that once you say it in front of three people, it becomes public knowledge, right? So. One opinion is the opinion that's going to say that you only need two edim. He doesn't hold like Rabba Baravuna. He, he does. He has his own opinions. But the opinion, Uman de Amar Bifne, Uman de Amar Bifne Shnaim let le de Rabba Baravuna. Uman de Uman de Amar Bifne Shalosh it le de Rabba it le de Rabba Baravuna. So he says the opinion that says two doesn't hold like Rabba Baravuna. The opinion that says three holds like Rabba Baravuna. Says the Gemara, lo. Everyone agrees that once you say Lashonara in front of three people, it becomes public knowledge and there's no Lashonara afterwards. Okay? Uh, so if so, what's the Machroket by us? Why do we have the Machroket of two or three? The opinion that says you only need two. The opinion that says you only need two says that is not considered to be mecha'a. And the reason why uh, uh, sorry, and, and and he says it's not going to be mecha'a. Why? Because it's not going to get to him. But the manda amal that says three, it says, ah, okay, if you sit in front of three, it's for sure going to get, the word is for sure going to get to him. No? Or you can say a different answer. Meaning everyone still agrees to Rabba Baravuna, and we say a different answer. So if so, how does the two work? So he says, the opinion that says that you need to, he says that we need witnesses. We just need witnesses. However, the opinion that says three, he says, no, we're not looking for witnesses in the case of the Mecha'a. What are we looking for? We're looking for the word to spread. And for the word to spread, you need three. 
So the first opinion says you only need two. Why? Because we only just need witnesses to the fact that he protested. And then the second one says, no, it's not enough that the witness, he protested in front of the witnesses. We also need, okay, now we also need uh, the word to spread. Gidel Baman Yume. Okay. Gidel Baman Yume. Havale Mechayuta. He had a case where he had to do the mecha'ah, where he had to protest. So he found three rabbanim. That they were sitting. And he protested in front of them. The next year, the following year, he came again to protest on this guy that was sitting in his field. You do not need to, you do not need to protest again in front of us. Hachi Amarav. Kevan Shemicha Shana Rishona. Shu Enot Sarich Limchot. Once he protested the first year, he doesn't need to protest afterwards. Okay, wait, we'll see. Veika de Amri, Veika de Amri, Amar Lechi Abarav. Kevan Shemicha Shana Rishona. Okay, so it's a difference in opinion of who is the one that told it to him. After at the end of every three years, he has to renew the mecha'a. Okay, Rabbi Yochanan. So Rabbi Yochanan, he had a question. I was like, well, what after every three years? Once he protested after the three years. Right? What does he what is he basically saying? This guy's a Gazlan, right? So what a Gazlan because he has it for the, the next three years afterwards. Yeah. Is he, the first after the first three years, the guy comes to protest. He says this guy's Gazlan. Okay. He has to come back again after three years again and protest. Yes. Yeah. So he's asking why? This guy he's he's a Gazlan because he's holding it for three years again. It means it's a good chazakah. Everyone knows he's a gazlan. Why does he have to come repeat every three years? It's enough that he protested once at the end of three years. He said, this guy's gazlan. That's it. We know that he's gazlan. End of story. We don't have to renew every three years. Maybe. But as of right now, he has the shame of being a gazlan. Shimon has the shame of being gazlan. Says the Gemara, gazlan, what, do you think he's really gazlan? Okay, he's gonna be considered, he's gonna be considered like a Gazlan. Okay, because he's not necessarily Gazlan. Okay. Um Amarava uh Ela Ki Gazlan Yeshlo Hazaka Amarava. He what's that Hilcheta? What's that Habemet? Sarih Limchot Besov Kol Shalosh Vishalosh. After every three years, he has to protest. Tani bar kapara, ir er, chazar vi ir er, chazar vi ir er, im machmat ana rishona ir er, en lo chazaka, vi im lav, yesh lo chazaka. So he says, after every time that the guy comes to protest, right, if he comes with the same protest, meaning what? He comes and he says, this guy, he stole the field from me. He comes, he says, the guy stole the field from me. He said, the guy stole the field from me. In this case, Shimon doesn't have chazaka. However, if he changed it, Shimon is the guy that's sitting in the field. Now, if Reuven comes the first time after three years, he says, ah, Shimon is Gazlan. Comes the second year, he says, no, Shimon is not Gazlan. Shimon is uh, holding my field like the sharecropper. Right? In this case, we don't. We no longer believe Reuven. Because he's changing he needs, his... That's why I need to do it. Don't them consistently because it might be changing in between. This is, uh, this think... is not... But again, it was a question he answered. But at the end of the day, this is also something that he's saying. Not even share it could be even buying it from you. You don't know. But yeah, he did this one year. He did Mukhe and said, you know what? Chill out, chill out. I have my reputation. Shem Tov, Shem Tov, Shem Tov. It could. It could. But once he has, again, once he was Mukhe, what does that mean? That the guy's going to hold on to, the guy, the guy, if the guy had a shtav, he should hold on to it. This case is that he don't have a shtav. Again. No, Mapitom. What's the whole concept of Chazaka? Yeah, there is and maybe there may not there. Well, no, what's the whole concept of the Chazaka that we need the Chazaka? 
that the guy, he has to have a shtar, because if he doesn't have a shtar, there's nothing what to talk about. Shimon has, if Shimon really owns the land, he must have a shtar. Yeah, so if he doesn't have the shtar in his hands, if it's within the, if it's within the three years, we tell Shimon, listen, it's your fault. You have to hold on to it. Because within three years, you don't have a chazaka that the land belongs to you. So you can so, so it's your fault. Right? If it's after the three years, then Shimon can say, listen, I already have a chazaka. Why do I need my shtah? But once, once there was already a protest, then what? He then he should still hold on to Ishtar. Why? Because he now knows that there might it might come a time where he's going to have to prove it again, right? The fact that there was a protest doesn't necessarily mean that he was sued in Bedin, right? Because it's very possible that he protested. He said, I'm going to sue him to get my land back, but he never did it, right? So what's the what's the thought? He says, once I sued him once, or once I claim that I'm going to sue him, what should happen? But once I make the claim that I'm going to sue him, he should... He No, not only he should, uh, he should sue him, he's going to sue him whenever. But what? at least he, this guy should be careful and hold on to his document for whenever, right? If you know that you're going to need a warranty, you have a warranty on a product, right? And you have the receipt. And you know that in order to claim the receipt, to claim the warranty... You need the receipt, okay? So let's say you have the you have the warranty for seven years, for ten years, okay? The fridge broke within it, it broke within the first year, so you know that you're eventually somewhere down the line, you're gonna you're gonna claim the warranty, right? So what's gonna happen? Are you gonna hold on to your receipt? You're going to hold on to your receipt. Why? Because you know that somewhere down the line, you're going to have to claim the problem. So if this guy hears that Reuven made a complaint against him, that he's going to eventually come sue him, even though it's past the three years, he should normally hold on to the to the document. However, over here, we're saying no. He doesn't have to. He should, after three years, after every three years, he has to renew it, right? And the, and, and the, the, the complaint, Neged Chazaka, is what? Only if he does the same claim over and over and over. Meaning, he's coming to complain that there's no chazaka because he's, he's Gazlan. He's coming to complain because he's Gazlan. If he's coming one time to complain because of Gazlan, second time because of, he's a sharecropper, in this case, after the th second three years, he's already he, does, he doesn't have to hold it anymore because the Bedin is not going to pay attention to him. So, Amar Rava, Amar Rav Nachman, Mecha'a bifnei shnaim, ve'en tzari, you have to do it in front of two people and not, the, and, and not, um, and not, and not three. Okay? Amen. Amen.